Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage and Reviews. And today is a little bit of a different video. We did a weight plate roundup not long ago and man, I was let known very widely how much I messed up. And I messed up in a way that I don't normally mess up. At least I think so in that I just completely forgot about a product. I keep having this nagging feeling that I've forgotten something. Hey, if you forgot it, it probably wasn't all that important. <laughs> so, first mess up in about a decade. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've messed up many times, but this one I think was a real one because the company I completely forgot to mention is one that I actually really like their product. I actually recommend it highly. We gave them a, a, an award during Fitness Most Wanted. And so today I want to atone for my sins by telling you how I messed up and basically recommending something that I should have done in the weight plate video. And those are these. These are the Strength Co plates. I've done a full review and breakdown on these and compared them to Rogue's. I actually really like these plates. It's kind of funny, I did the weight plate roundup, like the video, the best weight plates. Man, the comments lit me up with Strength Co plates. Ton of comments basically saying, where are the Strength Co plates? Where are Strength Co plates? I didn't purposely leave them out. Actually, if you look at any of my spreadsheets where I kind of like track all the all plates, I didn't even consider these. These. Partly because Strength Co, they sell all their stuff, but this is really what they're known for. And so it's not like I'm constantly going to their site looking at stuff because they're, they're not coming out with new stuff all the time. But it's been a while since I really thought about these, but I wanna say I'm sorry, and I really like these. Also, <laughs> they've come out with a ton of, they've come out with multiple Instagram videos ripping my puffy coat apart. Look at this. <laughs> I just wanna say, if you say, no, I, I, I think the videos are really funny. There's a puffy coat. Some of our team was like kind of upset, but the videos were actually really funny. I think a lot of people think I'm like in an ivory tower reviewing things. I'm not. We review things in a warehouse. Actually right now, we're actually at Brandon's gym, one of GGR's employees, to do a walkthrough of his facility and all the equipment that he's stolen from me. If you'd like to see that, make sure you subscribe because it will be coming out in a little bit. But when I review equipment, we review it in a warehouse. <laughs> it's a big warehouse. It has two very, very undersized heaters. And it had been, when I shot that video, like in the negatives or in the teens for like, what? A week, two weeks? It was like 30, 40, I could see my breath. It was freezing in there. So the reason I wore the puffy coat was not because I thought it looked cool although I think it does. <laughs> the reason I wore it is because I was actually cold, legitimately, but I thought the videos were funny. But they let me know, not nicely. I wish they would've just sent me a message or something, but that's okay. Here's the thing, I critique people for a living. If I'm gonna critique others, I can't just expect praise. I have to expect critique back. And so I actually appreciate you guys letting me know. And so I wanna write it by saying, I really like strength coat plates. They're very good plate. And actually the story behind them is even better. So cool story, during the pandemic, a guy named Grant owns a starting strength gym called The Strength Co in Costa Mesa, California, basically sees all this stuff that's happening. His clients need equipment, they can't come to the gym. So he's like, I'm just gonna start making equipment. Finally, after building like racks and all this different stuff, he was actually building like a bunch of DIY videos and stuff like that contracted a foundry, I think they make them in Wisconsin now, to make plates and just starts manufacturing plates. This was actually before like Rogue even came out with the deep dish plates or any of those that were made in the US, which today they're like synonymous, but back then there was hardly any USA made plates. You couldn't find that, like you couldn't find plates. The story behind these is awesome, but it's not just the story. These are actually a really good plate and at a pretty good price. Made in the USA, they're not using ductile iron, which is one thing that I think Rogue has over these, but one thing that's unique about these is Rogue has basically two styles of USA made plates. They have a deep dish that is deep, that's what I have in my garage, love those plates, but then they have a really thin guy, the USA made plates, they're extremely thin. These are basically an in-between. These take a typical standard barbell type plate and just like put it on steroids, much nicer. They have a machined edge and machined inside collar. They're very tight fitting, they're very accurate. They have full sizes all the way from 100 pounds all the way down to 1.25 pounds. So just like full run, you can get them anytime. Price is actually pretty good. They're just a little bit more, depending on the weight increment, than Rogue Deep Dishes. They're actually less than the USA Olympic plates from Rogue. So they're just a really good value. Freaking love the plates, love the company, love what they stand for. I love how they started and I really did mess up. So the whole point of this video is basically to say I'm sorry. One to Strength Co, also sorry to you guys because so many of you commented like where I messed up. And I just want to say like, I screwed up. But I also want to say, 
these are great plates. And so if you want some plates, I don't know where I, I like where would I rank these? Like, uh, you have to decide if you're getting irons, like if you want just a standard plate or if you'd like something that has a little bit, something like a Rogue Deep Dish has a thicker sleeve. I like the Rogue Deep Dish, but I'm also not lifting like 900 pounds. One of the benefits to these is you can put more on the bar because they're thinner than like a Rogue Deep Dish. So they also have a wide lip, which I actually wish the lip was a little bit thinner. It feels a little bit fat to me. Like I think it would just look a little bit more traditional if it was a little bit thinner. But other than that, I think I would just situate them at next to or as an alternative to the Rogue Deep Dish. Some people I know absolutely love these even more and depending on the type of training, like these would be a better option because you can load more on the bar. Okay, there's the video. All right, now stop letting me know I messed up because I know. <laughs> this has been Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Is there any other mistakes I've made? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.